Okay guys, what's up? It is Michael here. Um, I found a new way to get any Pokemon that you want. As you know before, I've already made the video using Poke Snipers to get rares, but now as I was filling up this Pokedex for my 100k giveaway account, I figured out a new way to do it where you can get just any Pokemon. So this is awesome. Can't wait to share it with you guys. But first, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more awesome videos. So, also, if you are unaware, I'm giving away this Pokemon Go account that we're looking at right now. When I hit 100k subscribers, it should be happening in like maybe two days. I would say maybe. So if you haven't entered, watch the video down below in the description and make sure you enter now. Alright, let's get started. So, what we're using today is this website called PokemonRadarGo.com and if you'll remember, I used this a long time ago, but it was really unreliable because it lets users input where Pokemon are so let's just look around, like for example, this is a good one. If it says found by trainer Poke Radar prediction, then it's real. Then you know you can teleport there and it's going to be real. But if it's like anonymous, it's probably not real. Prediction is good. So you're always, if it doesn't say Poke Radar prediction, I probably wouldn't bother teleporting there. Just wait till you see one that says Poke Radar prediction. So I was here searching for Ivysaur. Let's see what I need. I already caught one of those now. So we're here in my Pokedex. So we need a War Turtle. As you can see, we don't have one of those, so we're going to go over here in the search bar and you just scroll to what you need. War, War Turtle, boom. And this map, see, you can zoom out pretty far and it'll show you. And you can do this, it's worldwide, so that's anonymous, I'm going to ignore that. Here's Poke Radar Prediction, let's teleport there. So I'm using this app, um, it's the hack down below that says teleport. It requires no jailbreak or um, no computer, so this is the easiest and best hack to get. You can get this from iosemus.com. Just watch the video down there. Okay, so this war turtle is at 40.012509 minus 75.085799. There we go, we're gonna move, okay. Now we're going to wait for this war turtle. So it'll take a minute for the map to load, so you're not going to see any Pokestops or any Pokemon. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, so just be patient. It'll eventually pop up. And I will say also, if you find a Pokemon that only has like one minute left on its timer, as you can see here, there's a timer on every Pokemon, so this one's at 950. Um, if there's only like one minute left, maybe don't teleport to it, because you could teleport to the right coordinates, and by the time the map loads, it could be gone. So I'd like to give it like... Sometimes I'll try if it's the only one in the area and it has like one minute left. Okay, so there it is, popped up. There's the war turtle. So you can see this is working. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you guys how to do this part. So I'll explain that on the next one. So don't do anything yet without watching the next part. First, I'm going to try to catch this war turtle. Let's see. These guys have been really hard. The middle, the... Um, Charmeleon and the Ivysaur took me so many Pokeballs. Oh my gosh, right as I say that, it just wants to prove me wrong. I should say that more often. Well, that was great. One Pokeball, so just got that one in the Pokedex. Okay, so the part I forgot to show you, that was more of a demonstration. Now I'm going to show you more on the how to do it. So first thing I want to talk about is soft bands. Anytime you teleport anywhere, you're going to get a soft band. That means you can't check Pokestops. Oh, I actually need this Graveler. Sorry guys, I'm going to click him. If you have a soft band, it means you can't check Poke Stops, and you also cannot catch any Pokemon. As soon as you catch them, they'll pop out of their ball and they'll run away. Even the low, super weak ones. So if you ever can't check a Poke Stop, you know you have a soft band, but it's, it shouldn't be a surprise if you've teleported, it will happen. Really, like the only way that I know of not to get a soft band when just teleporting to a new area to walk around in is if like you've gone to bed and you woke up and you didn't check any Pokestops or catch any Pokemon yet at that point you can teleport to another location and just start out without a soft band. That's the only way. But for this, the method that we use, it basically you get to one location, so like I teleported here to the La Brea Tar Pits and that's these coordinates I'm at. You see on the very bottom right in this app, again you have to go get this app, it's the one, the teleport hack down in the description. So this app, as you can see my coordinates there at the bottom right, they say 34.06 whatever and the Y is negative 118. So this is, these are coordinates I found. I went to, I just go to Google Maps right here and I type in La Brea Tar Pits. So your Google Maps when you come up will look like this. So I search La Brea Tar Pits 
And then if I want the coordinates, I just click like right here and see at the bottom, they pop up. So that's the coordinates that I input down here at the bottom right on the app. And so once you're where you want your home place to be, where you want to be able to teleport in and out of, then you click the little heart right next to those coordinates there at the bottom right there at the bottom right. There's a little heart. You click it. I've already made this a point. I'll make it again. So collection coordinate, you want to name this, so I'll call it home just so I know I'm going to teleport there every time I go to snipe something. And I'll explain that in a second. So now I have my home. When I go to teleport, enter coordinate, collected, you'll see I have home there. So now it's there. That's what you need before you start. So the way this works, you teleport to an area. You don't have to teleport. You can start wherever you are. Just hit home wherever you already are if you don't want to get rid of a soft band anywhere. The whole way that this works is you teleport across the world, land on top of a Pokemon, you click him, but before you throw the Pokeball, you teleport back to whatever you set your home point to, and when you teleport back there, you don't have a soft band there. So when you throw the Pokeball, it reads it as you don't have a soft band, the Pokemon won't run, it'll act just like normal. Now, if you teleport there and you try to catch it there, if you check a Pokestop or throw a Pokeball while you've teleported, you'll get a soft band, then you'll have to go back home and you'll have to get rid of your soft band all over again. So, make sure you only teleport, click on it, but don't throw a ball or check a Pokestop, teleport back home, then start throwing the balls. That will avoid the soft band. If you mess up and you do get a soft band, then when you come back to your home point, you have to get rid of it before you start again. And how you do that is easy. You just click a Pokestop, you spin it, you close it. You click a Pokestop, you spin it, you close it. You do this 40 times, and on the 40th time, it should turn pink like that. At first, it won't. Remember, it won't let you check it. It'll just stay blue. But after the 40th time of doing that, it'll turn pink again. You'll be able to start up and go teleporting and sniping Pokemon again. Okay, I hope that all made sense. Now that you've got your home coordinate, we're going to go snipe a Pokemon. So we're going back to Poke Radar. What do we need now? Um, let's do something like we need a Gloom. So I got the Vile Plume there. Or a Victory Bell would be good. I need that too. So let's go see if there's any Victory Bell around. Aha, there's two. Nope, that's from a person, so I'm not going to trust it. That one is Poke Radar Prediction, and it's got six minutes. That is perfect. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for. So let's go 25.664. Nope, 0.644. Minus 80.337195. Okay. So just ignore those messages that pop up that say something about moving too fast or whatever because you're going to teleport back. So click on the guy. Don't hit any stops. Don't try to catch him here. Hit teleport, enter coordinate, collected, and there's your home. Click your home, click OK, click move. Now you're home. Now you'll see I can catch him. Well, I, he won't run. I don't know if I'm going to catch him first try or anything, but you can see that he won't run. Okay, sometimes they do run, but that's just because they normally would have run anyway. If you're confused, if he runs first time, yes, got him first try. If he runs first time, all you got to do is check a Pokestop. If you can still get it, then it's not a soft man. You still did everything right. He just ran. Sometimes they still just run on the first try just like normal. Okay, so now what do we need? Let's go ahead and do maybe some more. Um... What do we need? I needed a Gloom, right? I don't think I have a Tentacruel either. Well, let's do Gloom. I think he's more interesting. Because Oddish are hard to come by. You can also use this to snipe Oddish as well. A, B, C, D, go, scrolls. Lagging. Gloom. Wait, Ghastly, there he is, Gloom. All right, let's see. Oh, plenty of gloom. So he's got three minutes. I'll go for him. I should have plenty of time. 29.546. No, 564. Why am I so dyslexic? 551. Minus 95.123379. All right. So this is going great. This is a great way to fill up those semi-rares in the Pokedex because before I was using Poke Radar, which I will show you here, it's just, uh, I mean, Poke Snipers I meant. Where is it? I close it. So we're going to click on this guy. Don't throw a ball. Don't check a stop. Teleport back home. Collected. Home. Okay. Move. 
So now we're back home, we can catch them. But first I want to show you Poke Snipers. So this is where you go to find rares. And for a while they had an IV calculator. I think they're going to bring it back, which is really cool for when you're going to snipe. It'll tell you the moves and the IV. It's not up right now, but it has been before, and I hope they're going to bring it back. So if you're just looking specifically like Snorlax, Gyarados, Dragonite, Porygon, like these kind, Kangaskhan, Poke Snipers is really good. It's really clean looking, has the coordinates right there. Instead of having to go around the map and literally dragging around the world and trying to find one that'll show up. This is really nice and clean to use, but they don't have semi-rares yet. They tweeted that they're going to get it, but they don't yet. Okay, my battery's running low, so real quick we're going to try to catch this guy. Um, so that's going to be the end of this video anyway. You, I've, you've seen how to do it. I think I've explained it all. It should be pretty clear. If you still have questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So you've seen how I'm sniping. Remember the program, I mean the, the hacked app is down in the description. And that's all you really need to know, guys. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to leave some comments. Tell me what you want to see next. All right, see ya.